be like playing low first off. Fuck that. Don't matter. It don't fucking matter. Uh, you. Honestly. Yep. All right. Uh, All right. Today's podcast is sponsored by Mountain Dew. Do really do you really do. Mountain Dew. We ain't got no sponsors, and, bro. Stores. Bro, we broke. Everywhere. Nah. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. They're paying us. That's what I'm saying, bro. How are we gonna get the money? You telling me they're gonna give us money for this? Hey, it'll hurt into something. They don't some even money. know you exist, Chez. You just drink the look, water. Look, look, look. You think, you think, uh, other, other companies be like, oh, I know this person exists. Let me, let me just yes. directly. They won't remember them for long. Like, Raycon AirPod. Bro, I, st- I still yeah, see I mean, ads for Raycon. You know what I think a lot of people the, still know but don't remember? Raid Shadow Legends. I have not well, seen a sponsor for that in ages. I've seen more for Raycon and earbuds lately than that. The only reason I know a sponsor for that is because one of my YouTubers that I watch, they are literally like one of the biggest sponsors for them. But other than that, yeah, no one really talks about them. Yeah, it's pretty it's interesting. I'm kind of glad because that shit got annoying. <laughs> It was very annoying, Rich yeah. It wasn't that bad, but, eh. I don't even see ads for on YouTube, but man, for when it was out, though, they had to have made money, because that was... It was a lot, personally. I'm gonna die, and I'm on my last life. I'm dead, Darius. Damn. Never mind. I lived. Lol. I'm dead. Psych can never die. I'm basically God. So, if you were to go to like any hot spot, we're all straight here, right? Yes. All right. If we were to go to any hot spot, any any place with just mad chicks, and you were like to go just pick up hella chicks, what would be your go-to vehicle if you could pick any vehicle? I don't even know cars like that, bro. I'll be honest. It doesn't have no cars. It's like. Like, for me, I'd pick a white van. Mm. I'm picking a... I don't know. I think I'm going to pick some type of pink car. I know that. I'm going to have my car be... No, I'm going to have my car be purple. I respect that. It's going to be a... Just pur- know. I don't know exactly what type of car, but it'll be like... You know, a purple Dodge... A purple Dodge Avenger. Yes. Nice. Ah, excuse me. I I guess, the, van, the van doesn't have to be white, you know. It's just all. It's just. It's just about the. The principle. It's all about the, the principle, exactly. See, <laughs> who else is pulling up to pick up girls in a van? This is true. No, nobody. Twelve else seater. Well, including the passenger seat, thirteen seater. Oh man. Hella girls. Just I go to the beach and say hop in. No one's picking up more girls than me on that day. <laughs> this is true. You got okay. a point. I, I feel that. That's understandable. I mean, weird, but it's understandable at least, you know? Me. And it's unique. Right, it. no. You can't just... Oh, you can't just what? You can't just what, just... <laughs> Sorry, no, someone left me in this game. It just walked fast. I think that was enough. <laughs> That's what we did in Naruto game. No, 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 no. You didn't leave? Oh, oh, uh, no, no, I, I left. But I thought you were talking about, like, 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 that left me, like, you know what I mean? So, so it would be like that. Never mind, it's dead. Yeah. But. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it real. I was on my phone. The reason I'm doing a podcast right now, because I'll be honest, I was on my phone, right? And I was just watching mm-hmm. YouTube little shorts. I think I have like three I actually want to send to you, Darius. They're basketball related, so you, you would understand them, hopefully. I didn't fully get them, but you probably would. <laughs> but. I was just there, and for some reason, inspiring shit about entrepreneurs and what you want to do was just kept fucking popping up and I was like what the fuck what is this but I was you know I'm bored so I'm just looking at it and I was like damn this shit actually makes a lot of sense a lot one example was this dude was just saying it was 
like, how, what is it, like, four, like, it was like, this little kid asked him, if I'm, you know, I'm a little YouTuber, you know, over the past two years, I've gotten 142 subscribers, um, what do I want to, do? What, what should I do to increase those numbers, and, you know, and he asked him, what do you want to do, what is the main goal, and he said, just to inspire, he said, you have to do nothing, you just have to keep putting out content. And he told him, promise me one thing, you will never care about how many subscribers or how many likes you had, because that doesn't matter. As long as you're putting out content, you're going to be happy, and you're going to be doing what you want. Don't care about the number you have. That doesn't matter. Just put out content. If you want to go do something, stop saying, well, I can't, or this is blocking me. Just do it. And, like, stuff like that just kept popping up, and I was like, bro... Fuck this shit. Just make me make a podcast. Fuck it. And that's what I'm doing, basically. So we're going to make a podcast now. About what? I don't know. Make it up as you go. Podcasts, for the yeah. most part, I think, kind of do. Most of them can have a script, but I think a lot of them, personally, are just, like, off the top. And Depends these. on if you have, like, a specific yeah. topic going into the podcast. Like yeah. Like, a specific topic, or they just have a, to- they just have a podcast. A special guest. Fun. Yeah, or that. Usually, if it's just for fun, it's usually some kind of funny podcast. Or just, you know, just hanging out, chilling, mm-hmm. all that. We're just going to be chilling. We're going to be playing Brawlhalla for background gameplay. I have my entire audio muted. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird, but at the same time, I think that's, I want to say, almost necessary in I a way all for it. audio muted? I have all of it muted. <laughs> Am I a terrible person? I don't know. Mm. Uh... I wouldn't say all that. Nah. Oh, that was another one that came up too. It was like, if you think you're a shitty person, no, stop. You're not actually a bad person. You yourself don't fucking suck. Someone or the people around you have, at an age, embedded that into your mind, and that's an insecurity you have because of that time. And like, don't. You don't suck. You are an amazing person. You gotta carve that shit out though. And I, I fuck with that. I don't know. I like that. Oh, it was inspiring. Uh, mm. Tell me why I thought it was two tarot at this first. <laughs> hammer, hammer. Watch this, Pope. <clears throat> okay, I killed myself, but it still was cool. Not really. I just realized it's probably only here. Die. Okay, I missed. Man, I'm in school still. Yeah. A lot of the things he was saying though was like from ages 22 to 30, experiment with shit. That's the time. It's 22. You're still a fucking kid. You you're legally an adult, but you're still developing heavily. You just are out of school. If school wasn't a thing. You would even back in the day, you know how ages used to have like a shorter thing. Schooling increased because education increased, but like it's not. <laughs> you're still a child from 22 to 30. Honestly, it took me a while to even realize that. Like I always was thinking like fun days and just being that, like any kind of young was gonna end after high school, but. Yeah, no. I still have to think about all the fun shit I could do just after high school, after I just have my own money and even more freedom to do whatever I really feel like doing. Yo, that was, that's crazy, because one of the things my, um, this one teacher I had for one biology uh, sub we had, he was, he was kill as fuck, you know, he was just doing his thing. He was an art person, actually. He made art for people and shit, and, like, bro, he was just like, yeah, y'all do drugs and shit? Yeah, don't do them. And he said, wait, I'm not done. Don't do them now. Wait till you're done developing to do that shit. Let your mind and shit develop fully now. That way when, you know, you're older and you're fully developed and you're not going through these phases like puberty and your hormones are going crazy, you know, you're in an actual stable mind. Then you do that. Then you go all the way up. You take an imaginary elevator all the way up to the top floor. And boom, you're there. And it's a high, so you'll come down. But don't do that during your development phases, you know, wait till you're done developing to try that. And I, 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 that's why if I ever do do drugs or substances like that, I'm definitely gonna wait. I probably still will, just because, uh, you know, teenager impulses. 
but for the most part, I'll, it, I Come probably on, won't. Man. If Ain't I do, even no need. if I do, it's not. That's the thing. That's what I think about it too. It's just like not, but like you know, like here's the thing. I actually realized too. Another thing in those videos is like a lot of people say they don't like oysters, but I've never tried them. How do you know? You don't, because you haven't tried it. And I, I personally, I just don't see it for it, so I won't do it. I won't. I'm gonna stop saying I don't like it. I'm gonna instead say I don't see the use for it. Cause I, that's the truth, though. I don't see the use for it. I I have no reason to dislike it because I've never tried it. That's why, in some cases, you know, when I said I watched Naruto because I realized you can't say something's bad until you've actually seen it. That's the same thing with trying something. You can't say it's bad until you've tried it. I feel that for a while, as I've like became just, even as an eater, just less picky. I've just said more, more or less. Man, I haven't tried that before, but. Even if I was still not keen to eat something, I still wouldn't try it, but I wouldn't just straight up say, you, it's nasty. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've always been a pity person, and, um, recently, as, as, as similar as you guys' stories are, that's what I, that's what I be doing too, bro. You, uh, can't knock until you try it. That is true. Honestly. Get fucked. Get fucked. Honestly, that's also a part of development, though. The less things you try, the more you have... The more, more things you have to grow in. The more departments you have to... Like... Experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because literally, the only like growth that really stops at like eighteen, twenty-one is physical growth. There's so much mental growth that you have left in your life, all the way until ages, elderly ages. Yeah, like I'm, I might quit working right now because of this. Like I'm trying to think about it. Like, what I want to do. Is not, you know what I kind of realized too, which is kind of mm. fucked. School doesn't teach you important shit. I mean, it does, but think about it this way: school doesn't teach you about money. It doesn't. Mm. It doesn't. It teaches you how to. Uh, it teaches you about jobs, how to get a job, how to sustain a job in society. That's it. That's all school genuinely teaches you. Now it teaches you other things as well, but the main point of it is so you can function and get a job and do like everyone else but if you want to do your own and make money school can't help you with that I kind of oppose to like school hate when people talk about like how much you, t you learn in school isn't really applied it, it heavily so, is first though off, half of your classes are, pick, are, 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 are electives now I know some people aren't in the same boat as other people and they don't get the luxury of picking the electives, although most people do, they can get electives, and a lot of schools have electives that are out, like, life-friendly. Anything that can, like, help you in, in whatever you want to do, or maybe just even anything in the real world. Yeah. But, on top of that, school in general can really just give you a good work ethic, work ethic, as long as you look at it in that sense, and as long as you work towards having a good work ethic. It's something that can really help you with that sort of thing. Especially with what it can help you accomplish. Well, like, especially with what it can give you, I mean, like. I understand if you don't want, if school isn't for you, you're not looking for a college to attend. But if you are, that's something that can definitely help you build up your work ethic. Unless you're working, then something that will definitely help with that. But for someone who plans on just doing school uh, basically full-time all the way through college, I feel like it's something that's really important. I, I agree with that. That makes sense. Yeah. But there's a lot of things that it's kind of just iffy to learn in life. Like, for instance, yeah, just a whole lot of things about money, taxes and all of that.
Definitely. I'm dead. <laughs> I agree with that. I think that's understandable and reasonable. I'm also very glad I filled up the. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was hilarious. Oh, you know, it's been so long since I've actually streamed that I forgot it posts, um, it sends it to your, my email. But hey, you're, you're live, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, no, how did I get Zariel again, bro? This Zariel is the only one that I have ever liked the gold bow on. I don't know why. Oh, I know why, because it's you yellow. you actually got a Goldforged bow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the only one I have. I I think gold, gold forged in general, though. I think I have... No, yeah, no, it's the only one. I may have Axe, but I highly doubt it. You're one of those players. Axe and bow. I'm an Azoth player, fuck you mean? <laughs> I was, but back then. Axe and bow, you know what? I can't even lie, Orb is a new meta, so it just isn't even that, isn't even all that. I was high key feeling Orb lately, like even before I stopped playing, I was low up and I was feeling, I was like, man, Orb is so fun. It's glory but weapons. man. It's glory colors are horrible, I'm not gonna lie. Or, or the, yeah, the weapon skins, never mind. So yeah, the glory weapon skins are horrible on Orb. Falco. Pawn, okay. <laughs> I don't feel like that should have hit me. I don't feel like that should have hit me. They're pressing. Pressing. That, that's not you. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> that's not you. Oh, that wasn't me either. Okay. <laughs> Era. Oh wow. Huh, where were? Well, oh, he's dead. Well, she's dead. Well, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> My favorite line. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh nope, she's dead. Favorite line in Bro Hall, hands down. Oh, oh yeah. Bro, honestly, bro, I've you know how I've been working, right? Hmm? You know, apparently working five days is a lot. It's average. Uh, no, for like, a, for like a full time worker at least. Motherfucker, this is that's not a full time. I'm not a full time worker. I take school. It's part time. Oh man. It depends on the, depends on the hours you do though. Four to ten. Full time is uh, five days a week, eight hours, eight hours a day. And if you're still gonna do eight hours a day, then you're more likely going to do like four days a week. So although it is somewhat still a lot, it's not terrible. It's really not. Honestly, though, I'm thinking about it because I I don't know if I I think I've told you about my dilemma a little bit about chemistry. All right, mm -hmm. so that's going. I'm gonna try. Cause I just can't not try, but like, fuck, to get that 91 is gonna eat my ass, and if I'm, I'm gonna try to get it, but if I don't, I gotta go to summer school, but I just realized, that's gonna fuck my time, and horrible, cause I, I signed up for the Y today, cause me and my friend, we're gonna work out over the summer, he's gonna, we're gonna wake up at like 4, you're gonna come get dressed, and we're gonna go, and then, I'm gonna have to, what's up, whoa, whoa. Hey, you've been trying to get this nigga to go to Y for me, forever, <laughs> Not for everyone, but for a little bit. What do you mean don't call your name? Oh, call my don't. name. <laughs> it's Henry here. 
Bro, him and some random ten Tennessee guy doing better than we are. Truth be told, Shit. me and Leif have actually been cool since freshman year, because we just kept getting classes together, like, I kind of knew him a little uh, bit outside from 8th grade, but not, like, not even too heavy. I can't lie, if cool. I wanted, oh, I can't help myself, if I really wanted to steadily work out with, like, some school classmates, I could, but that would mean dedication to, like, a five-day-a-week schedule with the football team. All, a whole nother school year. That's like the only, like, I don't even play, I've, I've never played a year of high school football in my life. But, I, I end up working out with them every year. How? How does that How will, is, okay, oh, well, well, I, well, here's this, alright? I'm good at basketball, but, I'm more friends, I'm more friends with football players at my school than the basketball players. So here's the problem. When it comes to track, basketball and football players do different types of workouts mm -hmm. right after track. Football players go to the weight room and sometimes join us for our stretches, while basketball players do something. I don't know. I'm not with them. <laughs> Coach, going with the football players. You know the deal. So, so, nope, nope, nope. It's just a bunch of um, overly big high schoolers that are like, Oh yeah, Fraser, go into the weight room. <laughs> and then I, I basically get dragged by my long arms. And then all the girls in there are attracted to the light-skinned nigga, of course. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it. <laughs> Damn, why do we invite this nigga? He does this every time. That's probably what, like, <laughs> my first day, my first day in the weight room of track, probably what kept me in track. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Oh, these females are thirsty, thirsty. Guess I gotta yeah, be their glass of water. Of, I was on one side of the weight room, and this girl came over to me and said, hey, what's your name? Yeah, oh yeah, I was asking for a friend, um, never mind, I was like, okay, all the, all the, all, the, all my, my homies hyped me up, all that, and I was like, yeah, track is for me. Yeah. At the time, still one of the slowest. <laughs> okay, okay. At, the day of, at the time, still one of the damn slowest. It'd be like that, though. Uh, keyword, though, at the time. Oh, yeah, I got crackhead speeds. Um, quote one of my friends. <laughs> I like the way. <laughs> Just crackhead speeds. So, basketball. I, this is one thing I learned, and it kind of hurt me throughout track. Speed and basketball is way different from speed and track. Oh yeah, heavily. I, I, have, I have hella burst speed. Like, I can, I can literally flash past a nigga uh, in the blink of an eye. But then when it comes to like keeping up with that same speed, it ain't happening. <laughs> I like the way we said it ain't happening. We both just got completely cut <laughs> off stage. It ain't happening. Us trying it to recover. Happening. It ain't happening. But since I've played sports in my life, I've always well, been I'm dead Darius. Them, so I've always, I was able to um, keep up by playing, by doing longer ranged races. Mm -hmm. So, it still worked out for me in the end. I got my medals. That's cool. Wait, I just realized something. Mm -hmm. Both you guys have done wrestling. You done wrestling, Jez? I didn't know you done wrestling either, bro. Yeah, man, I did it my freshman and halfway through my sophomore year. Oh, that's cool. I, uh... I'm I dead. Did... Uh, I'm gonna cuck them off stage yeah, with the classic. Alright, one. Come on. Come here. Come to the middle. Okay. So yeah. You liked it though? Talk about I actually a little did. bit to see if you have anything in common. Alright. I won one game and got my ass beat every other time. Like, I got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I For only sure, bro. I had fun though. Only... Throughout the whole thing, I always did have fun with all my matches. 
I will say this, except my final two matches were the only ones I ever got pinned in. I'll say this, for all of my other ones, these niggas had to go to time for me. No, it was those two, and then <laughs> my first one. I got pinned so fast, I was in shock. I was like, what the fuck happened? Like, bro, I looked, and I was just getting tossed around, bro. Like, it didn't hurt getting tossed around, but, like, I was just getting manhandled, and I didn't even know. I was I was more bad, but I was trying to figure out what the fuck is happening so I can defend against it. And it was just, all right, uh, pin. I was like, what the fuck? Ten seconds? What? Huh? Huh? It didn't even, it, it didn't pass ten seconds. What do you mean? The clock didn't even go past ten seconds. <laughs> I was like, huh? So that's how this shit's about to be okay. I was prepared for my next match. That's why I won. I said, I'm stalling out. I want that bitch to go down. I didn't pin him because that was my problem. I'm too soft. That's one of my problems. I'm way too soft. I don't want to hurt people. I don't want to put pressure or plight. Uh, a fuck you up energy to someone if they have done nothing mm -hmm. to wrong me. That's just how my mind operates, which is part of the reason I quit from the gym. For sure. For sure. What about you, man? Um, I won a whole like match thing because someone wasn't there to forfeit. I actually got fucking manhandled so many times the rest of the way. I, I, was... I can't even count. <laughs> <laughs> I could, t like, man, it's bad. It sucks, but like, hey, man, you gotta take that ass whooping sometimes. <laughs> I learned that after my, like, after my first, like, that first, it was a tournament going on too. That that was my first ever uh -huh. experience with wrestling, and after that, I realized, oh, shit's about to get real. And I was supposed to have another match, but I was checking the app on my phone, and it still hadn't popped up. So I went to sleep. Forty minutes or an hour or so goes by. I checked it. Like, no, I checked it 20 minutes ago, and it still wasn't there, but I was looking in the wrong spot, and it actually was there, and I had just missed it by a minute. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. I was like, ah, fuck. Because I, I was checking it, though. I was. I was in the back sleep afterwards, but I was still checking it, but it was just, like, wasn't popping up, so I'm like, okay. Man. Oh, yeah. Sh shit yeah. was comfy, though, man. I'll say that. I actually fucked with everyone on the wrestling team, too. They were all, they're all good people. No, nah, I won't say good people. They're all, they're all chill. Yeah, for real. I feel like I feel like you can fuck with uh your classmates, but whenever you're out in the sports, for real, for real, Bruh. they're also weird. They all look like nerds who wanna just touch you. <laughs> <laughs> bro, <laughs> you remember this one dude, Jake? Bro, this Jake, he was our one. He was our one thirty-two starting. Bro, this nigga was fucking built different. He was the most flexible one there, and I was just like, huh, well, what the fuck is this? This guy was just so flexible. Like, he could get put into anything, and he would always be able to break out because he was just that flexible. And it was, inch I always liked seeing Damn. it because it was, it was nice. That, that is pretty nice, having someone, like, be able to be getting out shit in your team. I think another reason I quit too heavy though was because I started to, I think I realized it after I had quit, I, I think um, toward the end of uh, sophomore year, was I never actually, I always, because I was like, okay, I was, I'm very stupid, I'm not very intelligent with a lot of things, so I thought wrestling would be like WWE wrestling, you know, because that's what I was exposed <laughs> to as wrestling. <laughs> Big mistake, right, and I was right. with my friend Jacob, and he was like, yeah, I wanted to do wrestling, but I just didn't come in time. Like, you know, he missed the tryouts for 8th grade, and I was like, yeah, I didn't come in time either. You know, I'm, I came in the middle of, so like, halfway through the year or something. But, uh -huh. but we both agreed we were going to sign up for as a freshman. Like, yeah, we were doing it together, and he really, really wanted to do it, but I didn't. I was just more, like, just down for it because it seemed interesting. That's my main thing for a lot of things. If I think it's interesting, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to do that. But uh, once the interest of freshman year died down, my passion for it did drop a little. But I was still definitely down to do it. I'm like, yeah, this is, this is all right. I don't mind. You know, it's nothing too crazy. And then it was a combination of things. Really, like I realized I'm not a pain. I'm not. A, I'm not a person that likes to inflict harm. My fucking phone broke. Like it, it, cause I cracked it, right? But it was still fine. But then. It was cold outside, and I was sitting outside waiting for mom to come pick me up. And when Aww. I got, I was, it was literally, I swear to God, it was fine. And then I put it in my pocket and got in the car, went to check it while we were pulling off. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with my screen? It was completely gone. Like, it was just completely, like, blacked out. And I was like, huh. 
I don't understand how just point five seconds ago it was good, but uh, okay, uh, logic. <laughs> uh, All right. Damn, bro. Man, I encouraged Jacob a lot, though. I also helped Jacob, my friend, a lot with it. Like, there was one thing I could... He had a problem I even saw back in the 8th grade. He had a very bad temper, right? And this, he, like, he, he always has one. He still kind of does, but... I taught him, basically, how to not fuck up. Because I realized one day when we were practicing... That... When mm -hmm. he got mad, he would say, fuck the rules... And just, like, completely manhandle. Like, he would just go full... Uh, complete 100 strength mode. And he's, like, very much stronger than me. But, so I was trying to help him out with that, because I know if that happens in a match, you know, he'll get penalized for it. So I'm like, bro, as much as physically right. possible, I'm going to try and hoe you so you can use your head in these situations and concentrate that 100% strength on how to get out properly and fuck them over. Oh, man, but there was this one time where I just said, I literally chanted it in the chat. I was like, Jacob, drop this bitch. Like, okay, this dude accidentally, like, had hit, like, it, it was barely caught by the eye, but, like, bro, his arm, he got, like, completely, like, jawed, basically. Like, his shoulder, all in his oh. jaw, like, hard as hell, too. I was like, oh, you oh. fucked up. You have fucked yourself. And I just told Jacob to go off, and when I tell oh. you, in the next eight seconds, he went from being completely on the bottom in a full, in, in a half Nelson, to on top, mm -hmm. in a submission hold, in eight seconds, and had a pin? This man, he looked more stunned than fucking Goku. No, he looks more stunned than Vegeta when he saw Goku and Frieza teaming up together. <laughs> like, it was Damn. bad, man. I felt bad that, for him, because I knew it was coming. Everyone it knew Jacob had a problem with that. Like, knew, oh yeah, he's fucked. Man, it was... Ooh, it, was it was filthy. Oh, that's what that move is. I was trying to figure out that SIG all game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, it was it was nasty. It was yuck. But I'll say this: I definitely did help me even agree. Like, yeah, man, you helped me out a lot with that. There's been so many times where it's because he's dealt a lot more with my bullshit. Ah, I also Darius, cause of you, I also prepared him for the niggas that are gonna be weird and shit talk during the battle. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. What the hell? Why? <laughs> <laughs> because he's he, he'll he'll get freaked the fuck out. All in wrestling, honestly, it's a lot about like. It, all it takes is one mistake and you're bitch slapped. You are cucked for the rest of the... You're, you're on the ground in .5 seconds against someone I'm good. Like, all it takes is one mistake. If they say some shit and you're off your game, you take a second to pause. Like, huh? Boom, you're already on the ground. You're getting taken down. You gotta land on your side and not your back. Like, it's... So I prepared for that. I was like, oh yeah, you, you want that. Oh yeah, we're, we're sizing each other up, you know? Got hand movements going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my meat hand, though. You know what I do with this. I was down there last oh, night whacking man. it. Oh, yes. Yeah, come oh. over here. Yeah. Oh, you you want to grab me? Huh? You got me in this half Nelson? Mm, I like that, Daddy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mom cheer for you? She going to be cheering in my bed, too. <laughs> oh. I prepared him for all types Jeez, of shit, man. Jeez. Jeez. None of this is new to me. Want to know why? Want to know why, Jeez? <laughs> No. <laughs> We're this both is what Ashley. I did in basketball, bro. And that's Ashley. exactly why I said you were the inspiration for it. <laughs> How did there's tell us some shit about basketball, honestly. Like basketball, tell us some stories about well, basketball. Well, um so I um basically never played basketball until middle school. And um for some reason I was I was you know, I started off horrible. I can't even say it was amazing. I started off horrible, but I had hops. <laughs> he had. I'm pretty sure I wasn't there the day I got uh, picked up for my first basketball team. But I, everyone told me, it's like, man, the coach picked you up and said, man, we need him for the rebounds. <laughs> <laughs> so you're wait, you'd be the center though, right? Because the center gets rebounds where there where the net is. I played the center, but I did a horrible like, job. Of, like, did my first year. Cause like everyone was like, cause I'm, I'm, I was like skinny as hell at the time. <laughs> oh yeah, and everyone was. It didn't, uh, you're so still. Here's what it, here's what it took for me to play center, right? Oh it my, took for oh me my god. To stand out by the three point line, run up for boards, and kind of just have dangling on people's necks. Yeah. 
Now I actually have proper formation on actually how to get so rebounds bad. It's not on even standing a jump <laughs> and all this other shit, but no, bro, I'm gonna starting no, off, um, it was horrible. It was horrible. And, and that's that's probably where my mind games first came into play. Huh. What if I tell them this is that meat hand, it'll distract them, and I can jump and get the ball. So, let's go over a box out. Box out is where you force your opponent behind you by forcing them behind your two elbows and rubbing your back up against them. Huh? <laughs> this is in basketball we're still talking about? I basketball mean, has a lot of sexual terms. I know I'm this. Them, but that's what it is. I'm sorry. That's what it is. I mean, it's more or less shoulder, but, you know, you know, if I wanted to get someone's head, I'm be like, yeah. You like how I'm throwing it back? Like, oh, hell no. Backup. Easy board. Now, obviously, this didn't work in like AAU or travel team because they want to win too bad. Too bad. <laughs> they said, "Oh yeah, we're try hard now, huh? You got that meat hand?" They'd be, like, be like, "Yeah, yeah, I do want you to throw it back." Oh man, well, we lost. <laughs> try, I tried my best. <laughs> Coach, you put me on the bench, bro. Oh man, I. And then, and then, and then... What are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? Um... Oh yeah, shout out to basketball. Um... Comes with hello. Yes, now. Anyways. Our yeah. track came with hello. Yeah, this is the game. <laughs> Not as much as basketball. Anyways. Check sure. it out. Interesting. Ninth grade came along. This is where I got into track, because... <sighs> motherfuckers want to say I didn't make the team. Damn. Oh, oh. My, my dream, my hopes and dreams were shattered. I, I could never be the light skinned LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that really what you were going for? Not really at all. I just said it just because it sounded good. Oh. But check it out, alright. Um. Well, I played extremely hard following that year, and. I, I, I just became an absolute god at basketball. Oh yeah. Handles. So tenth so I played more uh pickup teams. I played AU. I also played for the YMCA, which I, I, I was actually pretty fun. Because I was actually able to literally just straight up say I'm the best in the league. <laughs> I tried to help. For some reason I was able to get thirty two rebounds a game. What the fuck? 50 assists. <laughs> and not even score, but still lead the team to victory. <laughs> oh, you you won that main character shit. Okay, so I can't well, yeah, blocks, shoot. I, I don't get to shoot the ball, but I can block, pass, and get rebounds. And nobody is faster than me. I'm pretty sure y'all could do everything else, right? Mm-hmm. Because, like, I have, like, hella white boys on my team, and if you don't know anything about basketball... All you need to know is that white boys are amazing shooters. That's all you need to know. Really? So, yes. You pass out to them at the three-point line, and they could they could shoot with their eyes closed. So they'd make it and they'd make it in a in an inch inch short basket. Huh? They're a bucket. <laughs> maybe not inside. Maybe not driving in. But yeah, they're a bucket. <laughs> so. And you're basically half of that. You're light skin. Oh, that's why you you couldn't get the shots perfectly. That's why they said back up, let him shoot. Don't do that. <laughs> ah, yep. I didn't make a single three in my MCA, but AAU and everything else is different. Don't worry about it, brother. <laughs> AAU and high school is different. Um, but um, actually, for that high school year, coach said I didn't make the team either. Didn't but, the coach? Um, <laughs> coach was, but the coach got fired. Damn. Because they were, um, what you call it? Like, really? Like, I guess they cussed out parents and shit. Oh, p bitch. You know, cussing out your players is one thing that's expected from a coach. But parents? Yeah, they didn't like that so much. <laughs> school administration and all that other jibber jabber nonsense. Did he just? 
<laughs> Why did we all just get cucked off stage like that? It started with one down sick gravity cancel, and then everyone just fell. So basically, the JV football coach t took over basketball coaching, and the first question he had is, "All right, uh, where's Fraser? He's here for practice." And, I, and they were like, "Uh, he's not. Who's Fraser? Because Oz, you know, the fuck, oh, basketball players don't fuck him. Who Fraser?" And they said, "Uh, you got. You're kidding me, right? He's not on the team." <laughs> so, well, I got put into like the last quarter of the season, last half, like last third of the season. Went crazy. Like I did pretty good. I guess. I did all right. But um, yeah, that that that's that was basically the point. Like that year, all of tenth grade, I was literally able to play any position, any position. Damn. Point guard, shooting guard. Actually, not point guard that well. I guess they hated how I took the ball up the court. Ah, <laughs> uh, too fast. No one can keep up. It was more like too fast. I'm 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 gonna get a carry violation or a travel. What the fuck is a carry violation? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> wait a minute. So what happened was, when you want to carry the ball up the court, you have to have the ball handling to make sure that you don't get forced off to the side of the court, out of bounds area. You want to go up the middle and get around your opponent rather than go up the side. You know, Any time I got forced to the side, I always keep bringing the ball really high and yeah. And but I was good at basically everything else and wait, is that a that problem? As the ball is high, oh, like you would lose track of it. Carry. If the ball goes up to your like shoulder oh. on a dribble and you dribble it back oh, down, oh. that's a carry. Yeah. Just because of how long the ball is, like how high the ball is, and you can't hold the ball for that long in the air. That's just what it is, really. That's just what it comes down to. Mm, okay. And it's really easy to steal the ball because, yeah, unless you were to pick the ball up, it's really easy to steal the ball too. But um, anyways. Hmm. Yeah. After that, I got cracked at basketball, and um, then, then COVID came. <sighs> Damn. So yeah. That what happened. a sad story. <laughs> Jazz, you sound son. You have the I don't give a fuck though vibe when you said that. You had like the most. Why is this nigga still talking? We don't give a fuck. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm happened? Did you I'm try out and not make it too? What happened, Jez? There's there's a story behind this. I I. That's Jez, how <laughs> you able to try out the seventh grade, and then neither of us showed up. <laughs> <laughs> he holds you, but you didn't show up either, huh? Yeah, because I knew he wasn't gonna show up, so I didn't show up either. I just I just. For sure. For sure. Honestly, yeah, because this year I'm like way less enthusiastic about basketball, but I still plan on at least on varsity for next year. And I want to try football out too. I know it's a hell of a thing to just try out football in the last year of high school, <laughs> but I've been good at it forever, so I don't see a problem. Oh, you're going to be wide receiver and safety. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I haven't seen a too. lot. Wide. Receiving wide, yeah. Huh. I'm dead. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of uh, variety var varieties of football teams, but Waverly has like a bunch of uh, thick people. I don't want to be linemen. I, I, it, or they're yeah. just be built muscly or just bigger. <clears throat> or at least at least you don't have Jakai. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, Type of motherfucker that makes you lose all confidence in your physical ability. Of course. Of course. Darius, I need a backup! <laughs> These niggas are trying to <laughs> end me! Except for the fact that he'll never den deny that I can jump higher than him. <sighs> it's true, though. You know what? I just realized I, I, a big detail that I left out when I was talking about training with the football team. Yeah, a big part of that started because I literally told the football coach that I'm faster than Jakai. It, it, it was just a blatant lie. I don't know why I said it. <laughs> He's like, huh? If you were faster. You gotta get on the football team in a couple years, boy. You can get you lifted now. No, no, yeah, his, resp his immediate response was, okay, so why are you on the football team? <laughs> he said, are you gonna join the football team? I said, um, uh, I can't. 
can't tell him no now. <gasps> I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Nuke. So, yeah, I didn't tell him no, you know. I said yes, and then I had, I practiced with them after the football season was over. They have year-round practice, so I literally practiced with them directly after football season ended, and then when COVID hit, I wasn't able to actually play for the football team, so I literally just practiced football. No reason. <laughs> They're gonna be like, huh? I wonder where Frazier is. Oh yeah, that nigga down on the team, huh? Coach, come back. Hey, Frazier, where you at? I'm over here. I got your uniform and pads. Come on. Oh, Yo, helmet already on the field went, waiting. <laughs> when I actually went to take the SAT, that was the second day. The ACT, right after that, I actually saw my track coach. My first reaction was, man, I haven't seen Y in a while. What's good, Y? He said, nah, none of that, none of that, Frazier. Where you been? Well, none of that. Obviously, that's what he meant. Nah, uh, I know him. That's what he meant to say, just not in front of the counselors. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that's... Oh, yeah. man. That's one thing I've always been, like, fucking baffled by. The damn coaches during practice versus outside of practice. Bro, I'll be like, is this the monster that made us almost die yesterday, my nigga? Excuse me? Have you ever had a coach as a substitute teacher? <laughs> oh my god. It was once. I had Leo as a coach. I was a wrestling coach. And he had him as a coach as a sub once, bro. I was like, get the fuck out. <laughs> Please. I did the not like that. Ever. Because there was times where the teachers would really just be like, so, uh, yeah, better be on your best behavior. <laughs> You're going to have Mr. Keaton as the coach, uh, as the substitute tomorrow. Oh, man. All the regular, all the students that like didn't know him or didn't like do track would be completely fine. Everyone else would be like, "Huh? No." <laughs> oh. Get him out of here, man. We can't make jokes. We can't have laughs because if see the thing is with regular teachers, you can get away with some stuff like that. With the coach, the nigga that you gotta go to in hours that's gonna remember the shit you was saying, like, oh, since they wanna talk. Bro, let a nigga get in trouble and get sent to ISS or get in trouble or get sent somewhere. We are running extra, extra, bro. He said for every time someone gets in trouble, four extra miles. Now, it's not a lot because you do track and basketball, but for wrestlers? I do short and- distance. What do you mean four miles? Why? <laughs> Why miles? Yeah, that's 16 laps around the, the track right there. And we got to get that Why? done before the football team comes out. Or when we go back you in. Did? Yeah, <laughs> nigga, he didn't play around. You, Leo didn't. That's one did thing. You, did you I, ever finish? <laughs> yes, nigga, I finished. I was listen. I'm always even if, when I did football for my first year of uh, what is it? My first year of uh, that freshman year when I did football, I was the nigga that was in there, had my pads on, sitting down before another nigga walked in there. I was that type of person. I'm ready to go. He said, "All right, get dressed, get out there. I'm gone. I'm get bye, deuces. I'm I'm out there, bitch. You're running already." Niggas would still get done before my slow ass. Oh man, bitch ass I lungs mean, got asthma. Not that's, enough that's stamina. That's cross country warm up. <laughs> yeah, you did you do that but too for a little bit? Literally. Or you just have friends that do it? No, I had friends that I had friends that would always try to hold me. But like, hey, 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 Keegan, look at look look at Fraser running running all fast on these long distance laps. Get it, get him in long distance. I'm like, no, fuck your long distance track. I ain't doing none of that because there's long distance track and short distance. I never actually had the opportunity to do cross country, but long distance track, I'd much, re- I'd much, I'd, I'd hate that way more than cross country. Just because I feel like I said, uh, track is so much more comfortable. Just and it's so much less appreciated. Appreciated. Bro, I don't know. You remember we still. Have- I don't yeah, think I'm going to be at a track meet. Hey, girl. That's Yo, when all the field events start. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're like, they're like, all right, uh, let's start up this race. Three, two, one. Uh, yeah, get out of here. All right, now. Uh, long jump. Yeah. Yeah, long jump. Damn, no wonder. And everyone's just, just slightly jogging around the track. The while everyone else is going crazy in these better events. I'm sorry. <laughs> better events, yes. But 
And then, like, when the when the race actually finished, there is like no hype around the race either. I low key. I'll be honest. Be, like hyping their man's around, hyping their man's up. But yeah. I low key felt that same way about wrestling. I kind of realized it didn't get a lot of recognition, but like everyone in there does work hard as shit, and we be, we just would go, man. We would just do shit, and like we would put forth. Kind of meets are. Not just I don't know who's meets like for games and stuff. Like, the only time I'd say it wasn't that way, I felt like it was just tournaments. But obviously, because there's a fuck ton of people there, so you know you combine. Uh, even when it was three schools, it was I think that was just normal. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that would have been like an average crowd, but it was always usually like undercrowded. It was I feel like it was always undercrowded and shit. I was like, oh, I feel like there should just be more, you know, people here, you know. But you know, I guess you know my parents couldn't come because stuff they had to work. But like you combine sixteen different fucking schools, obviously you're gonna have a lot more people. That's just how it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Darius. Yeah. I am did not eat today. I'm going to go warm up some steak and potatoes. Uh, Could you and Jess hold down the stream, the podcast? Yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. Of course. Be back we're with that thug. We're gonna talk about the thug cut. Yeah, I have no idea what that is, but apparently my non-existent viewers will love it. Lol. <laughs> no, nah, don't worry. Oh, bro, I can't <laughs> wait till. <laughs> it's ready to talk about the thug cut. Don't say that stupid. Watch Gordon. The Jez. <laughs> the Jez. Let's create, a, let's create a what if. Okay. So. What if. What if. What if. Actually joined the basketball team. You know what? I was really thinking about this year until I moved. All the way out here. I don't feel like doing any kind of thing out here. I don't know. I lost all motivation. I don't want to drive 30 minutes every every day after school or have someone come pick me up 30 minutes every day after school and stuff like that. I, I don't know. I'm just. just don't want that to happen. Last motivation. Now, um, back to the what ifs since you're trying to bring okay, reality okay. into it. Okay. Alright, alright. Yeah. So we become right. superstars, get famous on social media, and um, we create our own reality TV show after rooming together in a penthouse. Along, along with um, just a bunch of other people. Um, let's, let's pick the people. <laughs> Who are we rooming if? in the house with? If, where's the if? What do you mean? Where's the, where's the what if? Uh, I already started it. Remember it was way earlier. What if we, um, you know, what if we actually joined the bathroom? This game popular? So then, so then I was like, oh, oh. "Well, here's what's happened first: we, we'd be the best players in the nation, and then we'd get popular on social media, and we'd we'd uh, room together in a penthouse with like s some other niggas." Oh, okay, I see, I see, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who's who's the niggas? Who's gonna be with us though? Let's just say uh, it's just, just keep it brief. And then yeah. Francisco pops by a couple times. Tennessee. Nope. We just okay. we just we just kidnapped Francisco. Never mind. He stopped yes, by. Yes. Uh... Stopped by one time. We just kidnapped him. <laughs> we um, just kidnapped him straight like that. Yeah. So um. Uh. That's it. We win. Mm -hmm. That's the what if. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, what if, like, I, I got a what if, yeah. uh, what if, what if, what if, mag, magma, and all this stuff, like, 
that's lava, but inside the earth. What if that's fake? Well, if it's fake, then we'd. Because there's no technical be. real proof that it's really real. Except for lava. Flying. Okay. Okay. Well, um, not serious. You'd probably fly. The core of the yeah, no, Earth is what I, creates the gra gravitational pull, and magma yeah. is what holds together the core because that's the way the Earth was built, or something like that. I I I I understood why you said that. So, so, if we were able to fly, <laughs> I wanted to say fly though. No, I mean, People like, jump really high, is that better? <laughs> yeah. Is it better? Alright, so. Um. Moonwalking would be easy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh huh. For um, sure. Michael Jackson wouldn't be cool, so all he'd be is a pedophile. <laughs> Instead of a cool dancer, he'd just be a pedophile. You know, he's not. So a pretty good singer too. Name one song of his that he sang really, really nice voice. Oh, you hesitated. Uh, Obviously, you're not sure of yourself or your answer. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry what you did there. EDP would be able to jump away from his uh, situation. Situation. Mm -hmm. But then the po the police would have jumping jumping police to chase him. But it wasn't it wasn't a professional find though. It was just two random dudes on the internet who just scoped him out. That it's is like, well, true. He, he literally, he's literally starting a website. I don't know exactly what it's for, but he started a website. What? Yeah, honestly. Man, yeah, he has some new videos out, and he said he's starting a website. That's where he's gonna start posting all his videos on from now on. New v videos? I, I, I thought his YouTube was banned. No, I mean maybe, mm. but he even made a video on a uh, Chet Goldstein guy. The guy who busted him. Yeah. Man, he was. I think if what his friend said was true, bro, how uh, he was just fat and just like just could have done something without, like, just like he just looks to little 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 girls because you know, like because of that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me set this straight. Okay. His friend says he goes for little girls, little, okay. little, um. My, my, uh, um. My. Uh, underage. There's another word for it that I want to use, but underage women be, or girls because. Because. Because he's all fat and he can't get it with any woman. So, look, he has the fame. He has the fame already. Mm -hmm. I. The only thing he needed to do was really just work himself with that bullshit of like, working out. I think he would've been cool. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, he would've got. He would've got. He would've got the shit that he that he needed. Cause I don't think he was like. I, I don't know, I can't say. I can't say, because I, I don't know him, you know? Yeah. When yep. the homie tries to call me? <laughs> why'd she call it? Why'd she try to call me? Oh my Did goodness. Did a girl try to call you, Jess? Yeah. Bro, I don't know. She wants I know the girl. Oh my god. Let her no. smash! You gotta smash, bro. You gotta teach her to not be a thought. 
By slaying the thought. With your PP. This horror project. Oh yeah, Slayer for that school. A, A for ass. If you get an F, because you fucked her good. C, cause that <coughs> language. I'm not even gonna say that word. Darius, do, what, what is another word for a? Uh, what, what's another word for a female's vaginal s vagina? Pussy. Uh, that starts with the letter C. Cunt. Thank you. That. Miss called one four one. Wait a second. Hold on. Um, I came what, back and some that? interesting shit was being said. Okay. What did I miss while warming up my food? Nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, Jesse's gonna hear everything you said. I don't watch his back. I have never watched. Well, I have no that. Never, they're literally just gonna post it up. I mean, it's up right now. Once it's done, it's done. Oh. But I mean, because it's a live stream, it's um, because I can't realize I couldn't do a podcast video because of how um, the time on PlayStation records. Because right now, I think it'd be cropping out the beginning. Uh. Hmm. There's no way she 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 would have been able to call me yesterday at one. 41 because um I didn't even have her number then so, so but you had her heart hmm? no she's not oh my god bro this isn't even even think about a relationship this is a thing about that's school year project. Oh. Um, I don't want a relationship with this lady. I want a relationship with her. Can you hook me up with her? No. You are in a committed relationship to. that's been going on for five years. Five fucking years. You don't know that. <laughs> oh. Don't actually break up finally? Let's go. I can have this nigga to myself. Yeah, no yeah, more random work times work. where he's like, I gotta go. I don't She's think. Calling. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think you should be wanting. Oh, okay. I was just saying, Francisco should think that, you know. I thought it was a homie. The last. Something else, but yeah, okay, good. Oh, yeah, no. For sure. Like, uh. Francisco kind of looked like he was he was getting the manhandled. Even, you know. And there, if if there was a relationship, I feel like, yeah. You, I would. It's okay. in the, it's in, it's in the video. What? Uh, understandable, but I'll be honest. I'll actually, I'll be doing that myself. Did you say? I'll speak on that myself. I'm, I'm sorry, I was swallowing. God oh. damn it. Okay, but like, what I think on that is like the way I would think about that is, and my, if I was to get into another relationship right now. Let's say all my shit was perfectly fine. I'm just living my normal life. Just, you know, going to work, doing, getting got ready to school, and I have a regular summer. If I was to get a girlfriend, mm. my one concern, I, I would try and make sure she was set. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I tried to do with my last girl, too. You know, just make sure she was all right. You know? Because mm -hmm. I don't mind. You know, I don't... The one thing I don't want to do is fuck yeah, up, because I'm still suffering from my first relationship still which is sad but I kinda do still I've moved most of it out but there's still just that part of me that feels that I pushed her to cheat Ooh. so like I don't wanna ever have that shit happen again you know and that's one thing I'll make very clear you know mm -hmm. if you don't wanna be with me don't lead me on you'll break me more if you try to lead me on than if you just say hey, I'm not feeling it anymore and obviously, I'm going to try and make it work right. for, like, a little bit. But if it's just not going to happen, it's just not going to happen. There's nothing I can do about that. But don't try and lead me on. That shit will piss me off. Like, that's what will hurt. Yeah. So, manhandled, as in, I'd be manhandled in the fact that I would not, excuse me, I would not be 
manly as you would say i would i just be a i just be me i'd be how i am normally you know i'm not gonna switch up too mm -hmm. heavy because i'm in a relationship now i might you all it is but we in a relationship anyways you just you're still friends you just a little bit more love that that's it that's all the shit is just, just a little bit more love into it you know mm -hmm. like if she says like my last girl she said she wanted brownies I was like, okay, next time I see you, I'll make brownies. I made her brownies. I don't think that was nothing too crazy. You know? Yeah. For sure. Damn, I just bought my bitch some brownies, bro. Damn. Would have been better, because <laughs> I, I, I fucked up the first time, hilariously. I forgot <laughs> eggs the first time while making brownies. Don't ask oh, how a nigga forgets eggs, but I realized yeah. halfway through that I never took the egg carton out, so I had to restart. From scratch. It's not good. Where's the weapon at? Okay. But like I wouldn't be a controlling type either. I'm just like, you know, do you. I'm not gonna give a fuck. I'm not the nigga that's gonna be I'm like, cause I got cheated on, I'm gonna be worried. But like it's not gonna be like, oh right, let me check your phone, you know? Like I don't even have a password on my phone. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. If you say you wanna check my phone, I'm gonna tell you, just go straight to Pornhub, my nigga. It's it's literally tabbed. That it is tabbed on my phone. If you go to Google Chrome and it doesn't show porn, I have just cleared it's my not, search history. Not my phone. <laughs> <laughs> that too. It's either not my phone or I literally just cleared my search history. Like in class, the morning of, whatever. I just cleared it. Because if you go there, there has to be nothing. Or I actually closed out the app or closed out the tab by accident and I'm pissed because it was good. That I had to do that a lot by accident. <laughs> It sucks, bro. They'd be some good videos. It'd be interesting. For sure. But, yeah. you know, like, so I'm not worried about stuff like that. You know, I'm still going to trust her to not, you know, cheat. That's it. That's all I actually care about. Just don't cheat. I don't give a fuck. What else, basically? And you know what is wrong and what's right. I don't, you're not a child. I, we're we're the, same, the same age, give or take. I don't have to explain to you what classifies as cheating, motherfucker. Like, at the bare minimum, if you think I would get mad about it, or you think, mm, well, I'm just not gonna tell him, then it's probably something you shouldn't be doing, you know? I don't give a fuck, mm -hmm. though. I'm also a reasonable what do you think person. Do what flirting? Like, if she was flirting with a guy? Not heavy. I don't know, not nothing crazy. Like, name calling or any of that, but just like, you know, like, like something casual. Like, nice, nice compliments. My thing about that, that would be that it could be seen seen somewhat flirtatious. Understandable. Here's my thing. Mm -hmm. There's two things that I think about. But when I think about that, one, is she like that with everyone? Does she have that for everyone she knows? Has she done that, or does she just do that? That's just her. Like that's her thing. She just has little names for everyone. And what about? I think like, like I feel like that probably goes like the same with hugging, probably. So. Like, if she was that way before we started dating, there's nothing I... I could maybe bring it up to her, but it wouldn't do shit, because that's what she did. Just like, I'm not gonna change for her that much. She's not gonna stop calling people by their names just because I feel some type of way about it. No. That's stupid. I would never ask someone to do that, because that's not fair. <laughs> what the fuck? That's what do you right. think, what do you think about guy best friends? I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not it's not my territory. I'm not dating them. They're not dating you. They're your best friend. My my definition of a best friend is the nigga that when all chips are down, that is the person you can go to and they will have your back, even if your parents don't. That is what my opinion of a best friend is. Hey. So I will understand shit like that, cause that's their best friend. That's the guy. Oh well. Not my place. Say, mine's a guy too. Just like, I'm gonna tell her if I have girls that are, if I had a couple girls that were friends, and I made it clear, like, I'm not dropping them just because we're dating. I hope you understand and realize that, and I don't expect you to have, stop talking to any dudes either. Like, let's not be stupid about this. <laughs> there, there'd be no reason to. It's not a problem. Like, fuck's sake, you're more reasonable than niggas I know that actually get in relationships. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I, what do I mean? What do I mean? 
when people people wonder why they can't get into long distance rela- not long distance long relationships and they tell me shit and then they tell me shit like well yeah I don't want her to have a guy best friend well yeah I'm, I'm tired of her uh, hugging her guy best friend I'm tired of, of her calling this guy uh, this this and that this and that it's not gonna fucking work out then fuck a long relationship if you have standards this fucking high in high school oh Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they asked Darius, what did you do to get into a, a long relationship? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> Not give a fuck, nigga. Damn. Oh. You give every fucking maybe, world, obviously. Maybe, maybe you have to give a fuck if you want this relationship. That too, like, that's the thing. Like, a lot, some people probably think about it like that. Like, they have to care. Here's the thing. There comes a time in a relationship where it's not as... It's serious. It, it's it's serious as it gets, but it's not as serious as it once was. At the same time, like what I mean by that is, you don't have to put in as much effort to make a relationship work as you do. I mean, you have to put in more effort to make a relationship work than you do to keep a relationship going. Like once you already have a relationship going and you have the ties with someone, it's way harder to break off than with someone that you just got in a relationship with. Those I guys the... are fragile and easily breakable. Yeah, very. You know what that reminds me of? I don't remember which mm. movie it was, but Kevin Hart made this one comic thing. And he was like, I love seeing new couples share. You know? <laughs> like, that's part of it, though. Like, part of the reason, you know, when you're just now starting out, you do little shit like that. So they'll want to commit and stay, you know? It's not going to be one simple act. Like, oh, you remembered her birthday and bought her flowers on Valentine's Day. It's going to be a collective actions of all the shit you've done that's made her wake up one day and be like, I love this man. And so, you know, but like older couples, they don't really have to do much stuff like that. Now, they don't have to fight about... I'm pissed he made it back. Now, they won't have to fight about it. But the thing about it is, you know... Stuff like that, sharing, they still do, but it's not just some like, oh, I'll take a sip, you take a sip, you take a sip, then I'll take a sip. It's, do you want some? Or like, he's in there, like, you could have just got some in there, you know? Like, if my mom wants to sip my stepdad's drink or something, he'll probably give it to her. Or if they just bought some, or they're buying some, he'll be like, hold on, he'll just go and buy her another one real quick. Like, it's not that big a deal. He doesn't treat it like anything. Like, I would do the same shit, because, like, it's not that big a deal, but, like... You know, you have to do little things like that to make sure they want to stay with you. It's just insurance, you could say. Mm-hmm. But after you, you know, like after you all, excuse me, are like in the zone, you know, after you've been like together for a while, you feel like you you've been in the zone. You want to keep up. You want to keep up. You want to like keep putting in effort, and you want to stay like you want to stay with like the same type of positive attitude that you had when. You were having your happiest moments, but it's just, it's, it's just like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's really hard to describe. To be honest, when I think of just relationships in high school, it really just comes down to experiences and fun. Have like, doing it for more than just that is kind of just doing it for heartbreak, to be honest. Unless you're really planning on being with someone from high school for the rest of your life. You are... N- no! Got me messed what up. do you mean? You guys I'm already man, you already, already planned out your house of marriage and how there will be going to college condoms in every single room? <laughs> going to college out of state. <laughs> but bro, the condoms in every single room, what do you mean? Uh, if she, she finds out where the fuck I'm gonna stay... In a year or so's time, good on her. All right, I'll give it to you. But no, how about no? If she finds out you're going to leave her, you will say, <laughs> "Is that what you're telling me?" Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Not really. That's not really what I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm be like, oh no, I'm, I'm not gonna be in this state anymore. But goodbye, and then. <laughs> we gotta stop our relationship. I'm not gonna say that. That's a little too much. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean by long, long, long relationship, right? You can't just say that without feeling some kind of pain. To be honest. But ah, <laughs> I'm gonna be out of state for a while. <laughs> 
a while. Going to college, by the way, but for a while. You you know the deal. But, you know, a lot of people, when they are in committed relationships, like that, they do say, you know, we'll make it work while I'm, uh, you know, doing my thing. Oh, I can do I can do a long distance relationship. I'm sorry. I'm not, man. I'm going to make that straight. I can do that shit. Like, it's one thing, like, staying loyal isn't hard for me to do. It's just the fact that I know I'm going to be missing out on part of life. Exactly. Because I can't do this or that because of someone that I'm not even going to be seeing. Mm, I understand that. Ain't, that. That, ain't, that ain't right. That ain't it. Uh, but what about this? Y'all have a member, y'all say there'll be one day we all will just go and fuck the opposite sex like all day long and then y'all will be fine you, you don't remember that bro yeah that was a while ago um I, she's not even with that anymore <laughs> well you did tell her nah you can't suck another man's dick nah it's not happening cause you're not my girl no more. I mean I, 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 said, I said she could I said I just wouldn't kiss her anymore nah that's what it was you don't even like doing that now right uh uh not even with myself fuck that you don't kiss yourself what? You I didn't kiss you yourself. You know, just no. I said on. if. Oh, okay. But I was, I was thinking you more know, of I the. I thought you said you don't even do that to yourself, happen. Darius. No, I was, I was, I was talking about something else. It's oh, my bad, my bad. It's okay. But yeah, man, you know, like, I agree with what you said. If if you're doing it for more than just experience and fun, it's heartbreak, and I realize that now. I'm talking about, like, if you're not doing it for just that. Because experience and fun. Most, like, fun is something that you can take out of it. But experience is something you can take out of it, but also learn from. Mm-hmm. See, while being in relationships at these, like, type of... At these times of our lives, it's not likely that we're going to stay with someone that we're in a relationship with for the rest of our life. Dark. So, it's best to take whatever experience you can get out of it and learn from it to either improve on who your next significant other is going to be or just you know like I said if it's just for fun it's for fun but it's never really a good thing to like play with someone's emotions especially if you're um in cahoots with someone that like is taking the relationship extremely seriously not even just extremely seriously anyone who just values you know, it to a high degree exactly now, if you're going to, like, let it be known that you're having an open relationship, that's fine, but it has to be discussed. We're both nasty. And I agree with that. Yeah, definitely. Unless it's with Uzi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? Uzi. Wait, wait, which one? Well, y'all, no, no. It can't be with you. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got me fucked up. If, if... My girl thinks I'm, I'm 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 coming to watch her baby be born. If Uzi wants to play the PlayStation, with me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm 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 pro Cardi on that situation. He did the right. He, he made the right decision. He couldn't have done it any better. <laughs> These niggas keep thinking I'm dead off stage, and I feel bad. And I agree with that, man. S same with X, but he's dead, so so never mind. Nigga rises from the dead with Juice World. Yeah, we're gonna do a uh, three-way song. Uh, Uzi, uh, Uzi, Juice, and X. A uh, one-time only. Uh, you're the yeah, only man. one that will ever hear it. Do you wanna? Do, do you wanna? Do you wanna come? Like yeah, like honestly, I'm, I'm 100% straight now. I, I I said this in middle school. The only person I've ever go gay for is X X X Tentacion, and he's dead now. So 100% straight. Oh, there's my bed. Never mind. No, you're not. Yang yang. Falco! <laughs> Punch! Double kill. Now watch this gauntlet tech. Dodge. Ground pound. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Dodge up. Huh. I feel like a my weapon just don't do. Hmm. 
You know what? Mm. Well, this has been good. Crying infant in the background. What more does a man desire? Am I right? Oh, that's, that's weird. Bro. <laughs> At least change the word from desire. Listen, I just hate kids, bro. I fucking hate kids. You wanna know? I'll, I'll give you an example of how much I hate I these like, bastards, alright? I feel like I used to when I was like four. For some reason, I hated babies. <laughs> I have a really, a really, a really, like, just strained memory far in the back of my mind that I don't even know if it was real or not of me just like being four years old or like three years old and like slapping a baby in a stroll <laughs> you are uh uh oh you you uh, as anyone from Gen Z would say um your child was messed up in its development phase that's your fault <laughs> to be fair there's to be fair it wasn't even like half a decade younger than me I was three or four, alright? We were practically in the same age group. It was just on the lower end of the sex spectrum. Bitch, a baby? <laughs> Technically speaking, actually, though, you are right. When it comes to development stages, it is, is uh, birth to th no, birth to four. 32? No. No, yeah, birth to 30, yeah, so birth, one, uh, birth to four, and that's when the next development stage of a person's cognitive or their, like, their abilities increase, you know? Yeah. Technically, it's a month because at, sometimes they start searching for social cues and things they can play around and touch with. That's why babies, you know, grab a whole bunch of shit because they're trying to figure out what is what. And then they learn by watching other people do stuff like, oh, that's how you would open a door. They shake a bottle for some reason, wonder why. Tastes good. You know, little stuff. They don't know what's in the bottle, they just know it keeps them fed at that point. He's dead. Never mind. He's dead. Oh my gosh. Look at this lance. He really wants me to come over there, and I'm not doing that. You get one down, like, please. One GC down, like, it's fucking over. Well, I don't have gauntlets anymore, so can't even make that statement. Did you say? Oh, oh. Podcast. We're about to go very silent. Th mode activate. Huh? <laughs> yeah, good. gonna talk about the next topic after I beat their ass. Which will be but how I'm gonna beat kids if they act up. I'm dead. To act up you can get smacked up. Huh, that's not you? I'm dead dead. Huh. How the fuck did he get a chase dodge? Anyone else see that? Where did my goals go? Plug it. Watch this. Rock smash! Oh, well, I'm dead. Alright, who do you think's a better better cannon character? Zol or Onyx? Oh. Oh, uh, Zol, hands down. Uh, no, Onyx, hands down. Hear me out. Gauls can eat a person's ass off stage better than Axe. And. That defense, though. However, 
I would just pick that's in general for most people's logical thing. I'm picking Zilla because ten strength make my brain go, yeah, I'm fucking everyone up. Uh, easy, uh, easy reverse three zero incoming. I started meaning Zol in uh, what's it called twos. Zol in Queen Nine, but I wanted to get good at Onyx, but my brain can't grasp. I know gauntlets. I know. Anytime I want to play gauntlets, I, here's the problem with me and gauntlets. I think about gauntlets. I'm like, yes, time for me to try this advanced tech that I've been working on, and then I can't do it. I feel I just that. get pissed off. I don't, well, I don't know about that, but what I do feel is when I do, like, I'll be honest, I can't fucking play Gauntlets with anyone else but Cross. <laughs> like, you were right. I can't, my mind when I play Cross is, okay, yeah, I'm about to beat a person's ass, I can do anything. If I play Onyx Gauntlets, Core, anyone else's Gauntlets, my mind turns to mush, like, huh? Honestly, the only problem I think I'm having is that same problem I had with Hammer Down Light. I can't hit gauntlets down like for shit. I don't understand how to get in the positioning to do it. It makes no sense to me. Listeners, if you were going to slam your hand against the table to prove a point, like on some movie intense moment shit, that's how far you got to think your hand is extending and that's when you do it. I hate the onyx skin. Alright, Yumiko, don't ever try that again. I'm not dying, up, please. Thank you, Darius. Okay. Back to the audience, so we were having a conversation today with me, Leif, and my chemistry teacher, Miss Griffey, right? So we're in class, I'm supposed to be doing chemistry, but we got talking about anime, and then Leif was on my whole god topic of just, he hates gays. Hating gays. Hear me out. He, he doesn't really give a fuck, like, he and me are on the same boat of one thing, we don't give a fuck. Like, you know, if you want to be gay, be gay. If you like dick and you're a male, that's fine, I don't care, you know, do you. I'm not one to judge your love preference, like, the fuck, who is? But what I will say, me and him agree on, is they do too much for it. And that's where the that's where the problem, I think, comes in for. Like, just Gen Z in general, how they'll be like, oh, well, because of this, that, and that, you're in the wrong. But they want us to accept their norms and what they want to classify as norms with no repercussions whatsoever. But in order for that to work, we're going to have to find an equilibrium. But because they're just coming up with shit and not having a basis of rules behind it, that's where shit can go wild and hit the fan and not work out correctly. And that's going to be the big problem that we're running into now, but it's going to get even larger. The only problem is that we have conservatives in this country. I'm not saying that they're a problem. Now, don't get me wrong. I have no... I can't say that either. I don't have a political side when it comes to politics, but... With conservatives being a part of this country, it makes it so that gays and the huge change that follows with them and the whole LGBT community, that being a part of America now, all the changes is, are not okay with the conservatives because they want to keep things the same. And actually, if anything, restore America to what it previously was. before and get fucked before you continue oh I'm dead oh great I can't hear him nice Mike. oh now I can hear you again yeah, what I was saying was the amount of changes that they have that they have created is kind of crazy, and I feel like it shouldn't be something that changes our lives as a straight person. Yeah, like but I they're pressing shit so heavily that we have to show so we have to acknowledge it heavy, like they want it to. But as as an African American, we know as African Americans, you know for a fucking fact 
shit like this takes time. This is basically, in a way, the same thing as African Americans wanting equality. You know? I, that's how I see it. That's how I would compare it to, about people wanting change. And, like, I think, I don't know if they still are, but I think at one point in the past, since I think at least 1990 or 1980 to now, at one point in those 40 year gap, there was a, at one point I feel like there was just a heavy section where like gays and stuff like that were just heavily slammed down upon, like heavy, heavy. Just like, at, like you know, African Americans were back then, like, but because laws and stuff have upgraded, it's been not as bad or been differently made, but like, it's just weird. That's what I compare it to though, like them wanting equality is nothing wrong. Everyone wants it, we're not gonna get it, but you know, that shit took us over how many years? What, was it, when did we, when did they take Africans, uh, people from Africa and bring them to the U.S.? Starting since 1700s. Over 300 years, give or take. Not, not maybe like 200-ish years. And then we got equality, you know? I don't remember who it was. I think it was Martin Luther King that got shot. I think not even 20 years later, you got Michael Jackson dancing on the stage. Like, things can change heavily. And I do agree that it should for them, but you can't make someone else change quickly like that. Like, that's going to take time. And, like, I showed my teacher, because she was d having a hard time understanding it, so I put it into perspective. I was like, you know Long Beach Griffey, right? Yeah. How we posted that video, we made one recently about, like, uh, when I spank my kids, if you spank your kids or something like that. I showed her that video, and then obviously it's satire, you know, it's joking, but it was just saying, like, she agreed with me, like, yeah, you're not gonna tell me how to raise my kid. When they go in the store, they're gonna act accordingly, because they know better. Why do they know better? Because they know you don't play, but how do they know that? It's because if they do something wrong after they're told not to repeatedly, you discipline them. That's just how you were raised, and that's just what you know, and it works. Because when they go in there, they don't act up. And, like, that's how I try to compare it to it. Like, when people are trying to say, no, you're wrong, and then you're going to fuck up their whole life and cause all these problems. And then, like, I even showed the last part, which was just, like, what do you do? Okay, what should I do instead of that? You talk to them over and over and over again, and when that doesn't work. You you pray, for, you know, you, you go to therapy, you take them to therapy, and when that doesn't work, you pray for them, and when that doesn't work, and then they were just like, you messed up in their infantry phase, and like, shut the fuck up, like, we understand your point and what you want, but again, that's not something you can oppose on other people, you're basically doing what you're trying to stop, you're imposing laws on other people that's not fair, we have to come to an agreement and some states for it, because no one in this world is truly equal because of our laws and restrictions that make us conform to social norms. That's just how it is. You know right from wrong because that's just how you were raised and you know the law for the most part. You know speeding is wrong, but you know it's not too big sometimes. Technically, any speeding is legally you're allowed to get pulled over. One mile over, you're allowed to get pulled over. Usually, most places let it slide for five. But still you can still get in trouble for that. Why? Because you know better, so you'll get equal punishment for it. And in this world, you can't just tell someone all of a sudden, oh yeah, um, now you have to actually go under the speed limit by uh, 10, but it's not too heavy impressed. Like, we, you, you were trying to get people to do this, but, you know, j just to make it clear, we're going to force it, you know, when we see you doing it, we're going to just tell you. Like, and it's not like people that actually hold power. They're normal people that just feel and have these opinions and they're voicing them, which I think is good, but they're doing it in the wrong way. That's why we have freedom of speech and we go to process that we can set up for these things. Like, that's one of our hugest benefits. If we want something heard, you can get shit like that set up. You can get a play set up, a time frame, all that stuff set up. And then actually have stuff like that set up so that way you can get your point proven and you can be heard by others and a large majority of others. Not just, oh, put up flyers around the neighborhood. No, like you can actually get your voice heard very easily, especially with social media now. That connects not just to the U.S., but to China, Russia, India, Africa, all these other places that take hours to get to now by plane versus months, even years to by boat back then. It's much easier to have your voice heard. But because it's easier to be heard, they feel like they hold power, which they don't, and that's part of the problem as well. 
but all these things can be resolved with time, but you just have to be patient with them, and they don't want to be patient. Here's the main problem, though. I, I don't want to call anything a problem, because I'm not exactly against anything. I'm not either. I mean, I'm against things, but here's the... One thing I'm against is the way they are the approaching. Dilemma, all right? Although, people... Although, in certain ways, people might not have power, or... Whatever the fuck... It might be called... Community is a sense of power. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is ever true. Since, ever since, ever since black, back in the slave days, they separated people from their families because that was community, and they separated people from each other's languages. That's community. That's a way that people can have an uprising and rise up. Now, it's almost impossible to stop any ethnic group or any sort, any group of people from building community because of social media and because of the internet. People are going to rise up and have the same opinions that they were afraid to share before, and they're more, they're more willing to share now because they have other people backing them up and supporting their beliefs. Yeah, and nope. that is power because our government is what was it called democracy. We have the power of the people of the people's voice. So, with people, uh, with people wanting these kind of changes, when people changing people's mindset on different things like this changing it, it very well just affects the future because one I can't say anything for sure a lot of people who agree a lot of people who talk about these type of things are still kids and still have a lot of time to develop before they are a parent and can make these kind of decisions for their kids one thing I can say is if they don't change that what state of mind, which honestly isn't that likely considering the fact that that's how people change usually from the time they're teenager or young adult to the time where they're age of an average parent. But just hypothetically saying that, speaking, yeah, yeah. If, mind, if their mind isn't changed on that sort of fact, it's just going to completely start a whole different generation of kids that will even lesser be contained by the by like restraints of of parents because it's question a lot of shit and imagine a day and age where a kid has to question mom or dad why can't I do this because you're not supposed to well my friend's mom lets him do it my friends, and the thing is, same age old question. Well, was your friend jump off a cliff? Would you do it? Cool, but there's community behind everything that's happening now. Yeah. If people don't want to go to the store and act right, if people don't want to do this. If people want to do that, it's it's way different than it was before. Like, a generation of children can very well change extremely easily because of the type of people that are in our generation currently, and type of things that are being said with piety. Yeah. Like, I, I honestly, I think I agree with you heavily. Like, the thing is, like, I like everything you said. Like, I don't disagree with what they're doing. My only thing is just how they're approaching it. That's my... But I... There's no problem with what they want. I think it's how they're approaching it is the problem, you know? No, and actually, I, there's one part I really agree with. I really disagree with. But the only thing was, what I was talking about from the beginning wasn't that. So, honestly, I'm completely against kids being able to just do whatever they want without any say from their parents. Yeah. I don't understand that at all, and I hate why people press parents and call them being and call it being a bad parent I'm just by just raising your kid the way you want to raise them. And then they go around by bringing the point, why have a kid if you're just going to be that controlling? It's, it's, it's I don't, I want to, I want to understand their mindset. I want to know what they think. I want to know specifically how they see it if a parent is just raising their kid the way they want to raise their kid. I don't know. It's one of those things that's just, you have to be there to understand, really. 
you have to have their mindset, specifically their mindset. Completely. Because I could easily just say that they're wrong, they're this, they're that, but exactly. but you don't I'm know. Not, I'm not as I'm not as dumb minded just to say call someone wrong off an opinion if I don't know exactly what they're thinking. Personally, I'm not gonna have a conversation with these type of people because a lot of the times the type of things that they talk about doesn't really add up and it's just a really drawn out conversation that makes no sense and brings no new ideas up. It just ends up hurting my brain. So I really find that like a lot of logic doesn't come from these type of people that assume these things. But I'm still willing to to be to get some kind of knowledge of what they think good parenting is. Letting your kid do whatever they want is not good parenting by any means. And if that's what really good parenting has come down to nowadays, then we're fucked. We're fucked. Yeah, we were. That's the only thing I have a heavy opinion on nowadays, to be honest. But then people will mix it in with like beliefs of whether a kid can be gay or not or whatever like see one post I, sp I specifically remember seeing is I think something about a parent not letting their boy their son not buying their son a dress even though their son wanted the dress. Well, nice. Although it's a form of not really caring, it's a sign of who they want to be and how they want to express themselves. But when you're talking about like a young kid isn't really... I'm sorry, when you're like young to a point, there, there's a, there's there's an age, there's like an age range, where that, although you might think a certain way, you shouldn't fully be able to just, it's hard to explain, but like, I kind of get it, I feel like at a certain, parents need to, parents need to advise, like, not even advise, just like, have their form, have like, their ideals put into certain topics before kids are a certain age. Because if I'm if I'm a parent and I don't feel like buying my, my son a dress, it shouldn't be seen as bad parenting if they're not at an age where they can make up all their own choices on sexuality and all that shit. A four year old wanted to buy a dress. A four-year-old wanted to dress. A four-year-old boy wanted to dress, for example. That's cool. If I'm not saying I'm not bashing any parents who might want to do that. I'm not I'm just saying with my own ideals, I should be able to choose how I'd want my son to represent himself. Not as like personality-wise, but if I'm buying it, if I'm raising you, you're in the house that I'm paying for. It shouldn't be that big of a deal for. Something like that. Although I guess it probably would be a more lax, laxed way of just going ahead and doing doing so. But personally, I'm not completely against it, but I don't exactly support it. So I'm not gonna like go about doing so, so until I I believe until I believe. My kid is old enough to make their make up their own mind on such a decision of sexuality. Yeah. That would never fool I would never be opposed to having a child, but as long as they like they fully know and understand the consequences, yeah. risk, and the commitment it will be to fully go there. As long as they as long as they understand the concept of sexu sexuality and can somewhat at least grasp what love is. 
in some form, some shape, some way, then it's cool. Fuck it. But I'm not, I'm not gonna expect a not. I'm not gonna be okay with a nine year old trying to tell me that they know exactly everything about that type of shit. I mean, if a parent fully educated their their, their kid on a to on that topic at that age, good for them. I personally wouldn't, but you know, this comes down to preference. Parents shouldn't have power revoked from them because people want to call certain things bad parenting. Like, do you think it's do you think it's do you think it's okay for a parent to go to jail for child abuse for not doing anything like too bad, but like disciplining their child with a whoop? Just a regular belt spanking. I'm not not like anything that's gonna fucking star them, but discipline. Yeah, no. That's the same thing as for us. The same shit. Literally, you're an adult now, so instead of getting a whooping, you sentence or do community service, or you get sentenced to prison, or you are housed for a wrong crime for a set amount of time. It's just like a timeout, except you're now an adult. You know, the things don't change really. If you do something too bad, like murder, death penalty usually, or sometimes a death penalty, where your own life has consequence for your actions. That's one thing that I don't think they get, you know, there needs to be consequences for their actions. And this is just where, like, this is exactly where, like, the spoiled brats come from. They're not even just spoiled in general, just, just brats, in, like, brats in general. Yeah. Just the thing is, though, I, was, I didn't realize it. I was hella fucking spoiled. I still got my ass beat regularly, nigga. Oh, man, I locked my dad's keys in his trunk one time. My dad was taking a shit. I told mom, hold, did you have a bag of pair of keys? No? Okay, I locked his keys in the trunk. What do we do? She said, pulled out her pants. I'm like, oh, already? Whoop my ass. Then my dad, she told my mom, he cut his shit to come whoop my ass. And then went back to take his shit. I got whooped by both parents back to back. I didn't even get a haircut that day. I was supposed to be at school. <laughs> <laughs> so like but I get it I did something wrong I gotta work for it you know yeah. also let it tell me don't lock the fucking keys in the car honestly when it comes to more of the opinionated stage when it comes to like sexuality and parenting it's harder for me to explain that the way that I think that way that I'm thinking it because uh, when I'm just talking about regular parenting and discipline and anything like that, it comes to shit of controlling your child to just act like behavior wise. I feel like that's more common sense while talking about sexuality and all that shit. It's more opinionated and you kind of just have to make you make up your mind as a parent when it comes to that sort of thing. Yeah, you know. It's kind of how kind you of wish to raise your, your kid. kid kind of way lesser of a person to just completely just say one way is wrong or not. Because honestly, it can't. Straight up opinion. But discipline is just almost necessary for... No, it, it, it is not, not almost necessary. necessary but and like... It is for a kid that... For a kid that and it just in general, it doesn't have to be for a kid, in general, discipline or consequences yeah. for your yeah. actions is necessary. Even if it's good. I don't remember what it was exactly called, yeah. but that is good. Like, um, you did good. You got a hundred on your score, so your teacher wrote good job and put a smiley face as a kid on your test. You yeah. did good, so you got that. If you didn't do so good, you may have gotten instead of a yellow sticker, a blue sticker to indicate you didn't do as good. You know, consequences for your actions is is a need. It's a must in our society now because we're very social people. So. what actions you choose to go for their consequences I think you should be allowed to dictate so if they want to say you know for that at least since they're your child you can choose how you want to you know but that's just it you know I think it boils yeah. back down to the same thing just raise your child how you wish to and you can't say that about another person's child you could give your opinion on it but you should not slander and try to force
force someone to switch their way of raising their child. I think it's not wrong for you to base your opinion and then attempt to, you know, try and explain your reasoning with facts and evidence and results about why you think this is better. I don't think that's a problem, but forcing them and telling them they are just this terrible person and they're going to cause all these problems is just wrong. No. Okay, you need to die. Oh, okay. Just took a stock off of both of us. You said cannon? Okay. Okay, once this is a pool that I can't do anymore. Up top, up top. I can hit it again, oh my god. What do you mean you can't do that anymore? I used to be able to do that so efficiently. You're garbage. Here's, here's the fucked up thing, I don't know why I couldn't be able to hit it anymore. Bro, that was like my bread and butter back in the day. Me and Rai were actually doing combos for Zola and Yumiko. That was the one thing you couldn't. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Why can't you do that? That shit's easy as hell. That's true as shit. <laughs> and then I took a break from the game, came back. I'm like, what the fuck? Why can't I hit my bread and butter? Did they nerf it? Yeah, they nerfed cannon. Okay, that's that, that that is literally my stomp me. <laughs> I started playing cannon, but back when I first got somewhat decent at cannon, that was the first thing I learned and and perfected. Yeah, same. Like, well, this is, this is how I'm gonna get this. Is how I'm gonna get all my kills. Uh, to be honest, <laughs> it's a very good confirm. Is Jess still here? Except on Yumiko, he's probably sleeping. Mm. Jess, you here? You can wake him up though. He's gotta like get really, like, nah. really, really in your wake. If he's sleep, he's sleep. Cause you know I'm still streaming here, okay, so I don't. I do not wish to do that. I'm gonna, be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Yeah. Pretty sure, just from experience, he'd probably pr at least prefer for us to wake him up so we can at least get in a better position. <laughs> Alright, if anyone actually is still, no one's here, I don't think, but if anyone's listening, <laughs> I'm warning you, uh, you have ear rape in the next five seconds, so ear rape is just turn down your volume a little bit. You can't say his name, though. If you don't say his name, it literally won't work. <laughs> oh my god. For the next, after I count down to zero, wait, skip ten seconds ahead, and then you should be good. And it'll just be us waking him up. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Yes! 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 Wake up, nigga! Yes! Okay. I tried. Huh. Hey, Jez. There's no fucking way. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. What's up? I was up the whole time. What you need? Nah, he's not having the exact like waking up and shit. Oh, man. What's up, man? Oh, sleep. <laughs> Bitch ass. Well, we tried. I'm going to wake up after this game. I'm going to call him. Man, so we can at least get off. Yeah. Boop, boop. Got the ass. Oh, got the ass. How'd you learn? How'd you learn uh, your cannon string off stage? I don't have a cannon string off stage. What the fuck you mean? Not off stage, but to off stage, to the off stage, to the side of the stage. Bro, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You're speaking that ooboo jooboo right now. Well, you do, you take them off the mat, you take them off the stage, and then you force them off the mat. Yeah, I don't, no, I can't do that shit. I just swore you at least took them to the, to, to the border of everything. You mean like that? That's just end light, bro. No, you did this, and then that, and then this, and then that. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you have one life, get back here! <laughs> I just wasted it. Okay, I didn't die. <gasps> Yeah, cook her. Cook her asshole. Oh, my fucking coke. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Yeah. Yeah, like, something like that. And then, something like that. Yeah, uh-huh. A little bit more of oh, that. Oh, and they're dead. Come on. 
Anyways, I wish I was joking, but technically in the newest lore part of the recent character that got leaked, uh, Hattori is actually lesbian. <gasps> and she worked for my man Azoff, so that basically makes her a pimp. Uh, my bitch, because I mean Azoff. So all that I said was true, and she does a girl, so she has a vagina, so she's a pussy as well. So all I said was technically valid. Uncalled for, but valid. Mm. Yum. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't know if that was for the lore, what I said, Azoff pit like what this nigga just Yep, about to say the word yum. The fuck? Turning off the speaker. Damn. Ugly ass. It's a party? He's on GTA 5. Huh? Alright, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end the podcast. Alright, guys, if you ever watch this, well, l let's give a hypothetical yes. bullshit. If I ever get popular and this has to get watched, just know I'm not changing. Yeah, you heard opinions and nothing more, assholes. Uh, for those who are regularly here, you know, thanks for watching. It's been like two hours, but it's a podcast. What you expect? I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these. So, uh, yeah. And stay. I gotta come up with a catchphrase. Um, um. Uh. Pepperoni on my titties. Ha 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 ha. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Pepperonis on my titties. No, 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 bro. I gotta end it. I gotta use it in every video and stream I do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Pepperonis on my titties. Getting shot in Apex. Bye -bye. Ah, pepperonis on my titties. Oh man. <laughs> uh, so Jez, you there? I, I heard you wake up. Pick up the phone, baby.